Explore the world of creative editing with these seven essential text effects in CapCut PC. From sleek animations to eye-catching typography, this step-by-step -step guide will walk you through each effect, helping you elevate your videos to the next level. Don't miss out on these must-try techniques. Let's use this video as an example. Click text and add default text to the track. Delete default text, type words what you want. Change font and size. Right click text layer and create a compound clip. Then go to video mask. Choose Rectangle Shape. Click Reverse. Adjust Mass Size and Position as needed. Make sure the play cursor is at the beginning of the text layer. Add a mask keyframe. Move the play cursor forward, then adjust mass size and position. Keep doing this until the end.
That's it. Now, let me play the video and show you what we have. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. To start, click the library and drag the black background video into the timeline. Then click on the text and select default text. Drag and drop in your timeline to make the same length as the video. Now go to the right side, delete the text default text and type out your desired text. Adjust the font size and color to your liking. Next, tap on the Animation tab and select the Glitch Effect. Fine-tune the duration to match your video's pacing. Now, it's time to add voice to your text. Go to audio and search for the glitch sound effect. Drag the audio into the timeline and align it with the duration of the text. Let's use this video as an example. Go to the text tab and select default text. Drag it to make the same length as the video. Delete default text, type words what you want. Change font and size. Right click the text layer and create a compound clip. Make sure the play cursor is at the beginning of the text layer. Then go to Video tab. Add a position and size keyframe. Set the scale value to 1. Set the rotate values to minus 720. Move the playback cursor forward to 2 seconds. Set the scale value to 100%. Set the rotate values to L. After adjustment, we can see that the second keyframe of the text layer is automatically generated. Move the playback cursor forward to 4 seconds Add a position and size keyframe. Move the playback cursor forward to 6 seconds. Set the scale value to 1. Set the rotate values to minus 720. That's it. Now, let me play the video and show you what we have.
Then go to Video Basic. Scroll down to find Blend. Choose Overlay Mode. Then click on the video layer. Reduce the opacity to 77%. That's all. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Let's use this video as an example. Go to the text tab and select default text. Click plus, add to track, and make the same length as the video. Delete default text, type words what you want. Change font, size and color. Then copy and paste the text layer. Change the text color to white. Right-click top text layer and create a compound clip. Then go to Video Mask, choose Mirror Shape. Adjust mask size and position as needed. Increasing the feather for softer edges. Make sure the play cursor is at the beginning of the text layer. Add a mask keyframe. Move the play cursor forward. Then shift the mask down and right, and a second keyframe will automatically appear. That's it. Now it's time to add voice to your video. Go to audio and search for the type sweep effect. Add the audio into the track and align it with the duration of the text keyframe. Now, let me play the video and show you what we have. You can delete any extra frames to keep your timeline clean. That's it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. See. Go to the left side of the CapCut. Click on the text and select default text. Drag and drop in your timeline. Extend the duration to 5 seconds. Delete the text default text and type in the word subscribe. Selecting a font. Adjust font size. Then copy and paste the text layer. Click on the first text layer, enable the stroke, and choose a white color for it.
Now, let's click the second text layer. Select a different color for each letter. You can go with pink, purple, or any color of your choice. Feel free to get creative with it. Once you've picked your colors, creating a compound clip by right-clicking on the top layer. Then, choose the mask option, select the horizontal one, and rotate it 90. Add keyframes at the beginning. Move the cursor on the timeline to 3 seconds. Then drag the mask line all the way to the right until all of the text color is revealed. Now let me play the video and show you what we have. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them all. Thanks for watching. Bye! Let's use this video as an example. To start, copy and paste the video to the second layer. Click the second layer, go to Video Cutout, and click Auto Cutout. Next, let's add some text. Type in your desired text. And feel free to play around with fonts, colors, and sizes. Add the stroke. Adjust the text layer duration. Move the text layer between the two video layers. Move the play cursor to the end of the text layer. Copy and paste text layer. Change text color to black. Add a little stroke. Head over to the Media Library section and drag a black video onto the timeline below the duplicated text layer. Use the Freeze menu to lengthen the clip. Select both the text layer and the black video, then create a compound clip. Place the compound clip at the top layers. Select the compound clip, go to the Video Basic tab. Scroll down, click on Blend, and choose Brighten. And there you have it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.